Okay, I'll try to give you a walk around and try to pick out everything that I see that has little issues, if any. Um, start the back of the trailer. Your little paint chips where the rack goes on. It annoys me to no end. I was always going to get some uh, spray paint of the same color and, and do it, but I suppose the, the uh, racks or the ramps will chip it up again. Uh, there's tie downs. Those tie downs are through the frame. The back deck, I'll have to get back and measure it, but I think that's your standard eight and a half feet, if I remember correctly. And then the rest of the deck from this fender on is only the width between the two fenders here. So this front part of this deck is narrower than the back. Okay. On the camper, you can see the decals worn, a little bit of it's flaking away, a little bit of paint flaking off from around the window, their aluminum window frames. On the jacks, you got paint flaking a bit, a little bit of rust. I use a corrosion resistant stuff and I haven't had any rust since uh, I put that stuff on. But it's just the jacks, and uh, they should be repainted by somebody pickier than I am with that. And then go around. These, guys, these decals on the sides aren't bad. They're pretty nice. Nicer than I think I remembered them when I was describing them to your dad. A little fading. Around the frame of the window here on the edges, you can see a little flaking of the paint. Seals are all good. I'll get the canopies out here a little later when I'm sure it's not going to rain. I mean, when I got them out, but they're nice. There's one on the, this side and there's one on the back. There's the other big window flaking, and I think if you look from the inside, you'll see where I'm talking about the seals, those rubber seals getting sucked in. Here is the uh, generator. I'll open those if you want later. I forgot, I don't have the key in my hand. Generator, battery box, hot water heater, refrigerator. Then in the front, the decals are worn. There's those stripes. You see that? The little Bigfoot over there is faded a good bit. There's nothing else that's an issue on here. My trailer, I've got double jacks and they're electric. Take you around. Side. Grab the keys a minute. Same thing, all looks pretty good. There's a battery box for the trailer running uh, the uh, emergency brake. Here's the switch to raise and lower the jacks on the trailer. All these jacks are handy jacks, they're electric, they're run by a remote for the camper. Then you've got a utility shower here, and your electrical, and your refrigerator, fresh water. And here's the slide, it's all nice shape.
two storage compartments. These two can be accessed from inside underneath the bench seat too. More flaking around the aluminum trim on the window. That's propane. I haven't got the inside cleaned up, but um, I'll give you a glance in there and we'll get some better video here and a little later. Right under here is the uh, black water tank and fresh water tank. And then there's a big, long uh, cubby under there. You can get your fishing poles, jacks, uh, chair, folding chairs, whatever in there. I put this on, that's for your sewer hose to go into. Here you can see what I'm talking about with that rubber seal. It's there and it's right on that side too. I'm going to bring the slide in so you can see its function. It'll uh, come in and then you'll hear it when it gets to the end. It'll kind of bat, 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 bat noise. So here it goes. go and there's two um, spacers up top that I put in to hold it nice and secure so yeah I'll get you the rest of the interior later here's looking back out on the 16 foot deck <laughs> 